Hey there guys, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you a quick video if you're a Dungeon Architect fan, uh, an owner of the asset. I saw recently it was on sale if you happen to pick it up during the, uh, a lot of the plug-in sales and everything that were going on over the last few weeks or whatever. Um, just wanted to show you something you may not be aware of. I just found this myself and I thought I'd share it with you real quick. Um, if you have Dungeon Architect, you see here it's by Code Respawn. And uh, really, this is a guy whose name is Ali Akbar. And if you followed any of his projects before, he used to have some samples and things that were in, uh, in a file you could download from his documentation. A lot of that stuff has moved. So if you look in like the documentation here, this actually takes you out to some tutorial places and stuff. Tells you about Dungeon Architect and how it works. But he also has a GitHub that I was unaware of and under his github for code respawn you can see there's Ali Akbar he had a project in here that he had put up quite a while ago two years actually and it's called Dungeon Architect UE4 demo and uh, it's a deathmatch demo what he did is he basically took the shooter game which comes from the Unreal Engine examples and then he took the Infinity Blades asset packs um, the ones specifically for, um, I think it's called Hellforge or whatever. And then he created a map using his Dungeon Architect plugin and also turned on a game mode in here so that it basically spawns you into a loading room. When the dungeon gets done being built, it uh, teleports you into the game, and then you play against some bots in a, in a deathmatch scenario. It's actually a great example. Um, the, the shooter sample is a great sample to learn from. I've learned a lot from that. I'm working on some other stuff with it. And uh, love Dungeon Architect and always have since the very early days of getting started here with Unreal Engine. But anyway, if you go out here to GitHub and look up Code Respawn and find this project... Um, what he gives you here is a link to download some files, and he shows you what the files are in here. It's DA Infinity Blade Fire and DA Shooter Demo and then a map. Um, and it tells you the instructions here to install Epic Shooter Game Project from the Launcher's Learn tab. That, of course, is in, uh, if you go into your launcher, I'll show you here real quick. You go into the Learn tab, and when you scroll down into the Learn tab, you're going to see Shooter Game. If you click on Shooter Game, that takes you out to where you can actually download and install this to create a project. You may have seen this before. Um, not sure if you have or not, but, but that's that. And then if you go into the documentation, it gives you quite a bit of information about how this is set up. Um, and there's some other stuff that you can do that uses this project as well that you'll find out there if you're digging around. But uh, anyway, back to this real quick. If you go, that's the same documentation. I'll just close that. So if you go back to this, um, after you install that, you activate the uh, Dungeon Architect plugin, install the Infinity Blade Fireland pack, and install the Infinity Blade effects pack. These are free, all free assets here, except for Dungeon Architect, of course. And then uh, once you go into the game directory of that project, you just copy these assets over and dump them into um, into this project for you and then you open up the map maps hellforge uh and hit play so that map is in the maps directory after you copy those over it'll land in here and this is basically what you'll get now when you open up hellforge it's actually going to bring you in a game mode override for da shooter game mode and it'll also have a player controller class of da shooter player controller when you get this by default, the way that he has this set up, um, there's actually, if you go to the event graph, these are the, this is in the controller, actually inside of the game mode here. I made a little bit of a change to mine. Um, he has, once the match starts, it comes over here and it would, uh, it would basically go in and build a dungeon and then from your spawn pickups, it normally goes down to this branch to cast to the shooter player controller and teleport to the main dungeon. Now this may only be working when it's in a, a certain mode or something, I'm not sure, but this didn't work for me. Um, <clears throat> what I was able to do though is I was able to hit F8 and go out and realize you know, there's another level here. The code's trying to spawn me into this uh, waiting area while the dungeon's being built around me and then teleport me to that other spot. You can read the code to, to figure all this out. What I did is I changed this around a little bit and I, uh, I grabbed some code from his shooter player controller where if you look in here, there's a section where it teleports the player to the main dungeon. 
And if you, you can just get these by opening up these functions here, but teleport to main dungeon, teleports the player to a player start actor. And then over here, that just calls the code to teleport the player by getting an actor of the start class, locating that, and then basically just transforming, teleporting the character to that uh, local transform. But what I did is I took this code for teleporting the player and uh, teleporting the player start ca character here. I moved this over into the shooter game mode and stuck a function in here for teleport player to start actor. And I'm just picking the class in here. I'm not passing it by reference. You can just pick it from the drop down as a player start. And then by changing that code over to say, after the pickups are spawned, cast to the player pawn instead of the controller, get the player character, and then teleport the player to the start actor. There's that player start. And you can bring that over here, and it'll pass that. And now I could also just wire that there because, as you saw in this other one, when you specify the player start here, when you call this function, it would actually pass that value into this code. So picking this here is redundant to this as well. <clears throat> you could pick that. But what it'll do now is it'll load up, and then once this loading level is done, it should teleport you into the main map. And I'll get shot pretty quick here because this is a small map that I have set up here. But um, it'll basically give you an opportunity to get shot a lot and see how this whole thing works. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically trapped in a spawn camp scenario here, probably. But if you get an opportunity to check this out, I'll just restart it again. I have a small map in there, but again, it'll take you into a level you can run around and get some pickups. And it's very similar to like the early Doom and Quake type maps and stuff like that. Um, also, if you hit the tab while you're in here, it'll pull up um, a kills thing for you. I don't even know where that guy's at, but it's in there somewhere. Um, if you restart this a few times, you'll be able to get in and actually play it without getting shot every five seconds. And again, it just gives you an idea of how this thing's wired up to, to actually uh, build these levels for you and everything. So hopefully that gives you guys uh, a little something to check out. Now what I did is I, I made a package copy of this that already has the um, the DA Infinity Blade Fire um, dungeon assets in here. And these are all things that he's freely distributing on his website. Uh, you, these All it is basically it's some code that's already done up for you. You still need the Dungeon Architect plugin that you paid for from the marketplace turned on to, to use this. But I basically compiled this up and uh, put it into a uh, into a zip file. So I have a link for that that's going to be on my Google Drive right here for ShooterGame.RAR. I'll put this link in the description for the video. But again, check it out. If you have Dungeon Architect, go to Code Respawn. You can check this out and build it yourself. And then you could, uh, you know, modify it like I did. If you want to see, again, my modification, I'll just leave this up on screen for a second so you can um, take a look at it. Again, this is the original code. I just disconnected. This used to be wired up here. So I just disconnected that pin, put these in, and I'm just moving teleport to player start actor from the player controller. I just took this code that's here and moved it over into here. That way I could call it directly from inside of this instance. Okay, So I'll put this out there for you guys if you want to check it out. Again, it's using all free assets and everything. So um, have fun and enjoy. Again, my name is TC Mabe, and I'll catch you in an upcoming video. Take care of yourself.